quick video to explain how to play Day In Day Out by Johnny Marr. Um, so the first thing you'll notice if you ever watch uh, the band play live is there's two guitars and the one that's playing the backing chords uh, is playing without a capo uh, and so the actual chords, there's only three chords in the majority of this song, so the actual chords are F minor, then an E, then a D. But uh, Johnny Marr plays the song with a capo on the second fret. Uh, and then you're playing the same chords, obviously, but now you're playing the E minor shape, D shape, C shape. So for the rest of the lesson, I'm gonna to refer to the chords as the shape. So I'm gonna say, I wanna call it E minor, D, C. Okay, so the rhythm is So that's simply E minor, D, and C. So for the chorus, you've got the same three chords played in a different order. The uh, the only thing to take note of is is this is the first go round um, in the set of chords is slightly different to the second. So I'll try and explain. So the chords are the C shape, then the D. And E minor. So that was a different bit. Then on the second uh, set of chords, you finish off going. Best way to explain is to play it through, so I'll, I'll do that. And that takes you into, uh, I guess the best way to describe it is the pre-solo. And then that's really simple. That's just playing this E minor shape. And you just build it and build it and build it. Until you uh, go into the solo. So for the chords played behind the solo, uh, the best way I can explain this is to first play through the chords slowly and then I'll play it all together. So you've got the same three chords as before, the E minor shape, D and C, but we're also going to add in uh, the A minor shape and a B minor shape. So this is how they go together. So you start with the E minor shape. to D and C. B minor shape. D, C. Now the A minor shape. And then the B minor shape. To C. Then D. And then start it all again. So when you play it all together at pace, it sounds like this. Play that through twice.
Okay, so to finish the song, again you've got three chords, C shape, D, E minor, and but the order changes as you finish the song out. So probably the best way to try and explain it is just to play it. Hopefully you can see what my, my fingers are doing. So you finish, uh, so you come out of the solo on a C, So during the chorus, Johnny plays a uh, nice simple um, arpeggio based on a C shape relative to the capo at the second, starting up to a D. So that's five, seven, seven to seven, nine, nine. Then drop and um, fret uh, an E minor shape, but you're gonna really accentuate the top two strings. And then the second time round, it finishes slightly differently. So you play this again. And that finish is, um, is effectively a D, a, a D shape, but you're only playing the uh, G and the B strings. And then you play it's effectively the, the G and the B of a C uh, shape, so just the um, first fret on the B string. So all together that sounds like... So when you get to the pre-solo where the backing uh, chords are just the E minor, building and building, Johnny plays um, just some simple little melodies over the top to really help build that to that crescendo. So you've, the main um, notes you play are the sixth fret on the G string and then put your uh, index finger on the fifth on the B and you can play the open top string and you're gonna hammer on and off on the uh, seventh fret on that B. And after a few bars of that, you move up to um, the ninth fret and on the, uh, on the um, B string, and you're going to play the 9th, 10th, and 12th. And you're playing the 11th on the G string, so the, that stays the same all the way through, the 11th. And the top string's open again. And I think you can play whatever you like there, as long as it's those notes. And then really try and build it as the solo kicks in. So for the solo, uh, this is really, really simple. So you're playing the 10th fret on the B string, really, really uh, briefly, and, uh, and you and you take your finger off it so that you, it's really short and 
Um, and then, because the main note you're playing is the 11th on the G, so it's like this. So, plenty of vibrato on that 11th fret and then you s slide up to the 9th and then slide down to the 7th. And then to finish off the uh, the solo, you're playing the so there's a big bend at the twelfth fret, and you play the open top E string at the same time. Let the bend go down to the tenth, ninth. So you're using that open string effectively as a alternating drone. Something like that. So in the outro, the riffs are very similar to what I showed you before. There's one slight variant and it goes a bit like this. So the main difference there was there was a little slide after um, then you do a different E minor shape up at the um, at these frets here, the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Slide up to the ninth. So if I do that really slowly, it's an E minor shape. Then the G and the B of that uh, um, 799. Then G and the B of the 577, so that 